Hi, Deidre here from Our Upcycled Life and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm excited to share with you how I'm going to give my bathroom a complete makeover using only free or thrifted items. We have been in the process of building a log home and it's finally ready to add the finishing touches. I'm working away one room at a time and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to transform my clean slate bathroom into a beautiful functional space without spending a lot of money from thrift store finds to repurposing free things that I found. You're going to be amazed at what you can do with a little bit of creativity and upcycling. So come along with me. Let's get started on this thrifty bathroom makeover. And I also want to thank Pinecone Research for sponsoring today's video. We've got lots of work. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is show you the bathroom. We installed this barn door on the bathroom. Absolutely love it. It's perfect for this style of home, the log home. But I have basically nothing done in my bathroom other than I uh, hung this mirror and it's a thrift store find that I probably picked up about five years ago, painted it gray and um, I think it's gonna be perfect for this bathroom because that's kind of the color theme that I'm going to stick with. We've got our black faucet and our vanity, the toilet. I did hang up some blinds that I had to buy at Home Depot because um, I, of course it's really hard to find thrifted blinds that are nice and the size that you need and the shower curtain I've already hung. Now, I couldn't find a shower curtain that I liked at the thrift store, so this one was picked up at Winners, and I got it for $19.99, and it's the exact color that I wanted. So uh, that is one thing that I did spend a little bit of money on. So we need a toilet paper holder. We need a towel rack. We need a hand towel rack, toothbrush holder, soap dish, I need to put something behind this blank wall of the toilet. We got lots of work. If you can believe I found a towel rack and a hand towel rack in the scrap metal bin and I am going to spray paint them with some matte black spray paint. Gonna be perfect for this project. And I love the ornate backing on them. So I'm going to put the hand towel right here and then the towel rack I'm going to hang underneath the window. So these I picked up at the thrift store. They were $1.99 each. Um, toothbrush holder, soap holder. Not fussy about the silver color on them, but I knew I could spray paint them. So I'm gonna spray paint the pump black and the bottom of this black. $1.99 each, fantastic deal. I'm gonna mask them off, take them outside, and give them a coat of spray paint. The knobs on the cabinet are kind of like a rubbed antique look. I want them black to match everything else. So I'm gonna take them off, take them outside and give them a coat of spray paint. I found this shelf at Value Village for $12.99. Always use my discount coupon for another 20% off of that. It is a really heavy metal shelf and I think it's gonna work perfect over top of the toilet. I am spraying it with that black matte spray paint to pull it together with everything else. I've got the shelf all spray painted. Love the way that it turned out. And $12.99 at Value Village, I think was a fantastic deal. And it's heavy metal. So I'm gonna put it up above my toilet. 
I'm gonna show you a little hack to hang things easier. Take a piece of painter's tape and put it right across the top of what you wanna hang. And then you can mark where the screws go, put it on the wall, use a level, and put your screws in and you'll have it nice and level on your wall. I got it all hung. That's such an easy way to use the painter's tape. Have it nice and level. On to the next job. Found this planter at Valley Village for $4.99. Gonna spray paint the top. So much better with that matte black on the top. It's gonna match the bathroom perfect. And I have a beautiful plant to put in it. About a year and a half ago, I made this sign. Probably one of my favorite signs that I ever made and I wasn't really sure where I was gonna hang it, waiting for the right project, and I think this is the right project. I think it's gonna look beautiful in this bathroom. It's chippy, it's full of color, it's fun, and that's what I kinda wanna bring out in this bathroom. So we're gonna hang it underneath the uh, black shelf. I also have this collectible sign that I made. I think it fits in really well with this one. And I measured it and it fits in between my window and my wall, in between the trim, perfect. I don't even need to put a nail up because it fits in there right snug. So I'm gonna hang it up there and see what it looks like. It doesn't get any more perfect than that. It fits in there, not nice and snug, and I don't even need to put a nail or a screw into the wall. I love it. Always check Value Village for stuff like this. $2.99 for a toilet paper holder. I'm gonna spray paint it black so it matches my towel holder and my hand towel holder. Perfect find. Okay, this is extra fancy, but if you have a new roll of toilet paper, even if you have like an Airbnb or you have a guest bathroom, I'm gonna show you how you can make it look really elegant by just doing this simple triangle fold. And then you're gonna turn your faucet on, let it run for a second. Turn it off, take your toilet paper, and press that triangle into the faucet. And it's going to seal that toilet paper just like you were at a fancy hotel. When we were planning our light fixtures in the bathroom, we put in two pot lights, but I have this space above the mirror, and I think I'm going to incorporate this light found it at the thrift store 4.99 i'm gonna paint the top part that matte black and i have a little hack of having lighting without it being wired so i'm gonna take this outside and spray paint it first And how beautiful is this? You would never know that this was only $4.99. It looks like a high-end light fixture. Now, here's a little hack to hang it without any wiring. On Amazon, you can buy puck lights that just take a battery, and a lot of them even have a remote control. Put your batteries in, and then you can stick it on the inside of your light and use your remote and turn it off and on. The light kit will come with lots of adhesive tape. This one had a circle and it's going to stick in the bottom of that light fixture perfect. This 3M sticky pad is really strong. So we're going to stick it down, peel off the backing, and then stick the puck light in there. You're good to go. I've got the puck light installed. It comes with a little remote. Click it and you've got a light fixture that's gonna shine light without any hard wiring. 
I love buying my hand soap at Winners. They come in these beautiful amber bottles and I love to upcycle them. So I'm gonna soak the label off of this and show you what I'm going to do with them. For this next DIY, I got out my Cricut and I got some permanent vinyl. I designed an S and a C, I'm cutting them out and I'm gonna place them on those empty amber bottles. This is a really great way to upcycle some beautiful bottles and they look perfect in the shower. I love to hang some eucalyptus from the shower head. When the warm water comes out, it releases a scent and it smells just beautiful. And there's my shampoo and conditioner bottles. I love these because when my glasses are off in the shower, trying to figure out which bottle is which is always a bit of an adventure. Are you looking for a way to earn extra cash or gift cards in your spare time? If your answer is yes, Pinecone Research may be the solution for you. As a sponsor of today's video, Pinecone Research offers the opportunity to earn extra cash by taking surveys. Unlike other survey companies, Pinecone Research is an invite only, offering exclusive opportunities with guaranteed payouts for each task completed. There's even an opportunity to test and review products. To get started, simply click on the link provided in the video description and Pinecone Research will reach out to you with opportunities. I personally love completing the surveys in the morning while drinking my coffee. It's a great way to earn extra cash for things like crafting supplies, Starbucks, and Value Village excursions. Don't waste any more time aimlessly scrolling on your phone. Sign up. Click my exclusive link in the description box and start earning cash on Pinecone. And my thrifty bathroom makeover is complete and I absolutely love it. I had a friend give me this rug. It didn't match her decor. I knew it would be perfect in the bathroom. The rim painted black on that planter matched the towel rack and the hand towel rack perfect. I was able to find these towels at the thrift store and they matched the rug perfect. Little pottery candle holders that I picked up at the thrift store and all of my stuff styled on top of this shelf were also found at the thrift store. My little carved wooden bird, a little vase, a planter that I added some ivy that drapes down beautiful. But this sign, it's perfect for this bathroom. I found a little basket at the thrift store. Great spot to keep some toilet paper and some extra face cloths. My fancy toilet paper holder. The clock I picked up at the thrift store, it was $2.99. And then of course I've got my soap holder, my toothbrush holder, and I found this little planter at the thrift store also. And then to finish the bathroom off, that light over top of the mirror is just the icing on the cake. I love that I was able to transform this bathroom into something absolutely beautiful, but being very thrifty and not spending very much money. I hope you enjoyed this video today of me upcycling and thrifting my bathroom. I would love to know down in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these next two. Take care.